This is my capstone project for my Bachelor's of Electrical Engineering. It's called Fish Sense, and the idea of it was that it's a device that you could place in the water. It has a camera on it, and fish would swim in front of it, and our system would count it. Additionally, it would take the temperature of the water and read the depth of the water. I'll start off by showing you our overall system. So this is a more macroscopic view of our system. Here's a depth sensor that takes the overall level of the water attached to a metal frame that we designed in SolidWorks. If, as we peek in closer, we can see the LED in front, which we controlled via PWM. This was so that we could control the brightness of it. And we could also then use our system at night because a lot of salmon actually travel at night. And here's a side view. So on the bottom here, we have a Raspberry Pi 4. That was the main computer we used for all our calculations, all our algorithms and such, the brains of our system. On top of that, we have a power over ethernet board. That's how we got power to our system, but we also wanted the ability to connect via networking so we could grab data. And on top of that is our very own PCB that we developed. I'll get into that in, in a bit here. But another thing I wanted to point out before we move on to the next slide is this Edge TPU by Coral. This is basically a machine learning processing unit for the Pi. It allows us to be able to implement machine learning algorithms. Without that, the Pi would not be able to handle machine learning. And from that, we can grab what we think is a fish with a certain probability, and then it, it forwards that part of the image to our tracker, which then uses it to track the fish as it goes through our shot. And here's our PCB. We designed this PCB with KiCad. We needed this PCB to be able to fit all these components within a very small capsule. So if we look at the PCB, here's the RTC module. This just keeps track of time even when it powers down, so we can keep track of when the fish have crossed the center point. And then we timestamp those records. Here's a little transistor. This transistor circuit allows us to use the Pi's PWM, which outputs 3.3 volts to power this 12 volt LED. And here's the connection spots for the LED, the temperature sensor, and the ultrasonic sensor. In front, we see the camera. This is obviously what's used to record the fish. So here's a shot of what it actually looks like when we put it in water and record. It's going quite fast, but the purple box is the machine learning algorithm, which then identifies that it is a fish, and then it gives it to our tracker algorithm, which is used to track the fish through space and then identify whether it's moving forward or moving backwards. So now I just want to show what it looks like at our project expo. So we had a front end system written in Python using the Flask API. And we used this to show the temperature and the depth over time. And we also used it to show a live shot of the camera. And why we had a live shot of the camera is because we had a demonstration. We had a little bit of a wood plank or whatever this is with three printed out fish. And we'd get people to move it forward and backwards and our system would be able to, as you can see in the top left here, identify and count the fish as they're moving forward or backwards.